The American Union consists of four fields spread across 9.8 million square kilometers with a population of 332 million people. It is the birthplace of Adventism. The work was started during World War I with Dr. J. H. Miller, who is mentioned in the Freed in Sal Minutes of 1920. Dr. Miller, together with Pastor Spain Noble and Well, sought an audience at the 1922 General Conference meeting of the Seventh-day Adventist Church being held in San Francisco. But they were denied an audience. A leaflet titled Jesus Weeps was handed out to all delegates there. Following this, the first Sabbath Watchman publication was printed in 1925 on the subject of the Holy Spirit. Thereafter, several German Reformed families moved to the United States to assist the American reformers. These were families well, Kramer, Dorschler and Kessler. The church was officially registered in the state of New Jersey in 1927 as the International Missionary Society of the Seventh-day Adventist Reform Movement American Union. Today, the American Union has more than 500 members, 40 congregations, 32 workers, 12 pastors, 12 elders, 12 Bible workers and office workers, 18 buildings, 13 of them are in the United States and 5 are in the Puerto Rican field. 5 offices of fields in Union, 3 houses in Norman Park, Sacramento and Texas. Two apartments, one in Norman Park, Georgia, and other in Bronx, New York. Two schools, Small Cloud and Orion Christian Academy. Three vacant land, one in Sacramento, California, and two in Puerto Rico. Two. Publishing Houses In the United States Religious Liberty Publishing Association and Menemi Publishing House in Puerto Rico, we also have a cemetery and two professional recording studios in Norman College in Puerto Rico. We are overjoyed that most of our Bible workers and office workers are the children of ordained ministers. There are 32 persons on payroll. We have raised every worker's salary multiple times as much as $800 or more per month. With each salary increase, God has given us more funds, more congregations, and more souls. Blessed be His name. We are currently looking for more pastors and Bible workers who speak English fluently to join our growing missionary crew. God has richly blessed us and his talent has gained a hundred to one in the acquisition of Norman College and Conference Center. It has been like inheriting the Syrian camp. This is now our new headquarters and conference venue with 120,000 square feet, 10 buildings, 10.9 acres, five chapels, an auditorium for 900 persons, a cafeteria for 350 persons, a professional kitchen with a generator, and walk-in cooler with freezer, a gym with a 500-person seating capacity, 12 offices, 35 classrooms, 50 hotel rooms with private baths, a printing room, a maintenance shop, a two-bedroom and two-bath parsonage, a one-bedroom, one-bath apartment, and a professional video recording room. Every building came completely furnished and equipped. 
It is the future home of Norman College Academy and Norman College II educational institutions soon to be inaugurated. We thank the Lord that a special Sabbath school offering for Norman College is scheduled for December 30, 2023. Bryan Christian Academy is an online K-12 school which continues to grow with students and teachers across the world. It currently has over 50 students enrolled, has been instrumental in bringing students to the law. There are two professional printing offices, one in Norman College and the other in Arzibo, Puerto Rico. The American Union also has Religious Liberty Publishing Association which is nearly 100 years old. It continues to publish literature in English and Spanish, both digitally and in print. Assets of the American Union have grown to $8,536,065.18 real estate holdings. The American Union has $56,201.40 in liabilities. It has a cash reserve of half million dollars. Its monthly payroll amounts to $75,000 plus travel expenses and other operating costs. The missionary methods, which have been very successful, includes the following holding multiple public conferences and youth seminars at Norman College, online and personal Bible studies to interested souls, school programs, and online Sabbath school recordings. The brethren in Puerto Rico have been successful in winning souls using Radio Univision in Puerto Rico presenting two programs a medical missionary radio program called Maranatha which broadcast every Sunday, and another internet radio program called Repairers of the Breach. But what has been most successful in soul winning in Puerto Rico has been health fairs and cooking classes. New states and cities open. A total of eight new congregations have been opened in Norman Park, Georgia, and Livingston, Rome, Georgia, Des Moines, Iowa, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Cincinnati, Ohio, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Arroyo, Puerto Rico, and Mayaguez, Puerto Rico. New members are now living in South Carolina, Nebraska, Utah, and Phoenix, Arizona, Memphis and Sparta, Tennessee, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Boston, Massachusetts, Isabella and Maricao, Puerto Rico. May the Lord continue to bless the American Union, the North American Caribbean Division, the General Conference, and the worldwide work of God. Come and visit us in America. We host a Union Conference every December at Norman College. God bless His Church. God bless America. Visítanos en YouTube para una versión completa en español.